So when it comes to comfort food, a delicious meatloaf is one of those meals that is on the list for sure, which is why today we wanted to show you our recipe that is packed full of flavor and definitely not your grandma's oven baked meatloaf. Coming up. Hey, welcome back to Adrenaline Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, we're gonna teach you how to cook up a delicious meatloaf on the kettle grill in Sloan Sear. And just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes for you in the description box below. So make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this cook. Meatloaf really is a blank slate and can be adapted to any flavor profile. But regardless of the flavors you choose, the main thing to focus on is that you have the main components right, which are the correct blend of meat, breadcrumbs, and eggs. Beyond these core ingredients, you can get very creative with what you put into your meatloaf. But for your first time, I do recommend following this recipe without substitution because it is so fantastic. So to start off with, we're gonna grab a large bowl and we're gonna get our meat into the, the bowl here. So place your ground beef in there as well as your sausage. Next, we're gonna take our parsley, place that in, as well as our onion and our garlic, followed by our Parmesan cheese, our breadcrumbs, our salt and our pepper, place that in, and lastly, our egg. Once you have all your ingredients into the bowl, the fun part begins. We're gonna mix it with our hands. So get right in there, just mix it all up. And we are, we're using this big bowl because we can, uh, we can just go to town with this. And we're just wanting to incorporate all those ingredients together. Make sure you get all the, the ground beef and the sausage incorporated together nicely. So now that everything is mixed together, we can now begin to form our loaf. And so what we've done is taken some plastic wrap and lined it over top of this uh, loaf pan. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our, our meat mixture and place that into the pan. So when you're pressing the meat into your loaf pan, you don't wanna press it too firm, but you wanna press firm enough to help create that loaf shape that we're looking for. And now that our loaf is, is formed in our pan, we're gonna take a, a rack here and just turn this loaf upside down and so removing the meatloaf from the pan is important because we want as much surface area as possible to help create that flavorful crust that we all love. Once we have our meatloaf removed from the pan, uh, we're gonna take it inside and place it into the freezer just to help it firm up a little bit. And this is also gonna help with creating our smoke ring. But for now, while our loaf is chilling in the freezer, we're gonna go ahead and get our kettle grill all set up for cooking anywhere between 325 and 350 degrees. All right, so to get our grill all set up for cooking at 325 to 350 degrees, uh, what we did is placed a half a chimney of uh, briquettes, so it's about 40 briquettes, into the Sloan Sear, as well as we lit another 40, so about 80 in total. Uh, we didn't really count, but if you do count, uh, that would be your magic number. And so what we're gonna do is place the hot briquettes on top of the cold, unlit briquettes. Along with this, we have our easy spin grate and our drip and griddle down below. And we're not gonna be placing any water in our water reservoir today because we are gonna be cooking above 325 degrees. And so we need to get this up to temperature. And so we're gonna close the lid. We're gonna open up all of our vents. And uh, we're gonna leave it all the way open until it reaches about 275 degrees. And then at that point, we're gonna back off our bottom vent about a third of the way open and then adjust the top bent as needed. So our grill is all set up and ready to go. Uh, the temperature inside has just hit 330 degrees and the smoke that's coming out is a thin white uh, and even clear uh, smoke. So it's now time to put the finishing touches onto our meatloaf. And what we're gonna do is uh, place uh, some barbecue rub onto the outside surface of our meatloaf. This is gonna help give it some nice color and it's gonna form that, uh, that crust that we're looking for. Once that's done, we're gonna open up the lid and get our meatloaf onto the grill opposite the Sloan Sear. The next thing that we're gonna do is uh, take our digital thermometer and place it uh, just down from the middle of our meatloaf. The next thing we're gonna do is take uh, some water and we're gonna spritz uh, the outside of this meatloaf. 
This is going to add some moisture to the outside of our meatloaf, which will help the smoke adhere a bit more, as well as add smoke flavor. So we're now gonna let that cook in there for about an hour and a half to two hours at 325 to 350 degrees. And then halfway through the cook, I wanna bring you back and we're gonna open it up and just take a look at the color and see what this meatloaf is doing. All right, we're now just over halfway through the cook. The internal temperature of the meatloaf has uh, just hit 110 degrees. And I thought I would uh, open it up for you uh, to take a look at, just see what's going on a little bit. You can see that the color has darkened up as the smoke starts to settle into the meat, creating that smoke ring that we're looking for. And the smell of the meatloaf is vibrant and, and even a little sweet because of that rub we put on. And so we're gonna quickly close the lid and get it back cooking for another about 15 to 20 minutes before we come back at 140 degrees internal temperature and put a, a coating of our barbecue sauce glaze on top of it. So our meatloaf has now just hit 140 degrees, and so it's now time to get some uh, barbecue sauce onto the outside of this loaf. When you are putting your sauce on, uh, feel free to use your favorite go-to uh, sauce that you love on your meatloaf. Again, you're wanting to just adapt the taste uh, to your flavor profile. Once that's done, close the lid and continue cooking until it reaches 155 degrees. So it's been an hour and 35 minutes and our meatloaf has just hit 155 degrees. And so we're gonna go in and get it off the grill and let it rest for a few minutes. And as it rests, it's gonna increase in temperature up to about 160 degrees. So our meatloaf is all done. It looks and smells incredible and I just can't wait uh, to cut into this. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Guys, I have to tell you how good this looks. And so I'm gonna grab a slice here and cut into it and give it a, a full taste here. Let's taste it. That is so good. You have that smokiness that comes through in that sauce, that classic meatloaf flavor in the sauce and the onions and, and the, the beef and the sauces all coming through. That's a winner right there. In fact, I'm just gonna keep eating this piece here. You know, for science, right? For science. Wow, that looks great, right? If you haven't yet tried smoking a meatloaf on the grill, uh, make sure to do it, because we know that you're gonna love it. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as leave a comment down below on your favorite flavor combinations. I'm Jabin with Adrenaline Barbecue Company, where we didn't invent the kettle, we perfected it. See you next time.